Welcome back to High Country Cooking with Chewy. You know it, I'm Chewy. Anyway, we got a real easy recipe today. I'm going to make up some tequila lime marinated chicken breasts. I'm going to cook out on the grill. We're going to turn those into little street tacos. So let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to use today. All right, for this recipe, I'm going to use two big old chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. I got some silver tequila some McCormick Mexican seasoning. Now they don't make this seasoning anymore. This is the last of what I have so you can use whatever you like of your choice. Use a little bit of olive oil, some honey, a little bit of agave nectar, a little bit of prickly pear syrup, and the juice from some limes. Alright, first thing I'm going to do here, I got my two chicken breasts. Now I'm going to want to remove any excess fat and skin that might be left over on them and because these chicken breasts are so thick and so big I mean, look at these things they're monsters I'm gonna fillet these things in half or butterfly them just like that make them a little bit thinner easier to cook on the grill do the same thing here to this second one Just like that. Alright, like I said, this marinade is real easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is take my tequila. I'm going to use about a third of a cup of the tequila. To the tequila, I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Then I take my Mexican seasoning. I'm going to use about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. To that, give about a teaspoon of honey, a teaspoon of uh, about a half a teaspoon of the agave nectar. And then I'm also going to add about a half a teaspoon of the prickly pear syrup. Now the honey and the agave nectar and the prickly pear syrup that's just to give it a little bit of sweetness to take care of the lime, uh, the acidity to the limes. Now what I want to do with my limes is I give them a quick roll on the counter push down on them, helps break up the, uh, the pulp inside Cut them in half, use my handy dandy juicer, just squeeze out the juice from one lime to start with. You don't want to squeeze these things too much because you'll get the bitter pulpiness from, or the bitterness from the, uh, the rind on these things. Give this stuff a good mix up. Make sure it's all mixed up really good. Now you can adjust the flavor of this as you like. Might need a half an extra half a lime for this one. So we're going to use about a lime and a half. Let a quick mix in. That's the ticket right there. Now, take me a got me a, my uh, big Ziploc bag that I'm gonna use for marinating my chicken. Put these monstrosity chicken breasts in there. Then I'm gonna take my marinade, pour it in the bag, zipper it up. And throw it over in the fridge for about two hours. It helps me get all the air out of the bag. Let me zip it up. Give everything a quick mix. 
that's it. In the fridge it goes for a couple hours. When this is done marinating, we'll meet you up out at the grill. All right, it's been a couple hours. I've had my chicken in the uh, refrigerator marinating. I got my grill on nice and hot so I get a good sear on these things. So now it's time to throw them on the grill. Oh yeah. Now we'll let these sear for a couple minutes on each side and then I'll turn the heat down to let them cook the rest of the way. Alright, it's been about three minutes. We're going to check these things out, see how they look, and give them a flip. Oh wow, smells wonderful already. Oh yeah, got some nice grill marks on that one. Oh, got some real nice grill marks on that one. So I'm going to close this lid, let this stuff cook for about the next 15 minutes or so after I turn the heat down to about a medium. And uh, we'll meet you back inside when they're done. Alright, I got my chicken off the grill. As you can tell, it's nicely grilled. So all I'm going to really do for this stuff here, cut that at the little seam there for the butterfly. Cut this up into little chunks here first. Cut it back the other way. You don't want to cut your pieces too small, otherwise they'll fall out of the uh, tortillas. Now let's assemble a let's assemble a uh, taco. I I put my uh, tortillas in the microwave for about 20 seconds with a wet paper towel over them just to soften them up make them feel a little bit more fresher but uh for all these y'all gotta do is take a little bit of meat a little bit of meat on each one and sprinkle a little bit of cheese now to go for the true authentic street taco a little bit of onion A little bit of chopped up cilantro. And just a little bit of salsa. This salsa was made by my uncle, which he's actually a really good salsa maker. That's it. Three tacos. Let's give them a taste, see how they are. Man, I wish you guys could smell these things. They smell awesome. Just like the patch says right there. This is what awesome looks like. Mmm. Nice fresh tortilla. And that tequila flavor really comes through with the wine. Just the right amount of Mexican seasoning. Anyway, this is a real simple recipe, guys. If you want, give this a try. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And remember, never trust a skinny cook. All right, got my chicken off the grill. And tell you what, doesn't it look good? Oh, you want to smell? Oh, yeah. Anyway, 